Okay, in this lecture, we're going to learn a quick overview of constraints. Now, constraints are ways to be able to create labels and buttons and all types of controls that you just put them once and they work on all types of screen sizes. It could work for an iPhone 4, an iPhone 4S Retina, or an iPad or an iPad mini uh, in different po portrait or landscape modes without having to rewrite how um, they should be uh, positioned, okay? So the positioning is dynamic, all right? So if you do have already labels, I want you to click on them and remove them by clicking the delete key, okay? That removes them. Now, once you have all the labels removed, just drag and drop a label. If you don't see the label here, just type it here in the search, all right? And drag and drop it right here, okay? And as you can see, I see constraints here. I see the blue dotted lines horizontally and vertically which means that the label is centered on my screen horizontally and vertically okay now um, i'm going to write some text so i'm going to go to the attributes and i'm going to change the text to hello everybody okay now it's obviously too small so i'm going to increase the size okay so we can actually see it all right there we go and i'm going to make sure that it is centered oh by the way also make sure that the alignment of the text is to the center of the label all right and just make sure to drag and drop it so it is centered now i'm going to click on run and what we should see is that this should be centered horizontally and vertically so the space here would be the same as the space here and the space here would be the same as the space here let's click on play and see Okay, so now it is running here, and uh, we do have the right um, spacing. Uh, actually, we don't. We have neither the horizontal space nor the vertical spacing right, because as you can see, the text is closer to the right side than to the left one, and it's actually closer to the bottom than to the top, so it's completely wrong. And uh, there's actually a quick way to fix that. Go back to Xcode, and right here, under the W, instead of having any, I want you to select the size of the iPhone, okay? Or in portrait mode or iPad in portrait, okay? So that would be like that. So two columns and three rows. All right. Once you do that, I want you to select the button again, okay? So make sure you, you, uh, you, you select the label. And I want you to go on the bottom right on the second button, the one that says Resolve Auto Layout Issues. Click here and click on add missing constraints okay so it will create the constraints for you so that it is centered just how we want it okay so as you can see it added those blue dotted lines uh, actually those are not dotted it added it on top on the bottom and below so now i want you to click on run and see if that's going to be centered or not now and there we go so now it is centered to the left and to the right, just like we wanted. Okay, so far so good. Um, that's a quick way to learn about constraints. Now there's a lot more to it, um, but that's enough to start. See you guys in the next lecture.